You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask a Drone You. And in this corner, you've got Paul, the taken flight master. And in this corner, you got the bald headed bureau, Mr. Robertic. Otherwise known as the bean counter, Paul. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> welcome, guys, to another awesome episode of Ask a Drone You. Very excited to be here. Thank you very much for the reviews, the shares, everything. If mm. you have a question yourself, go to askdroneyou.com. But we got a really interesting question today, and we're going to be talking about some really interesting technology. The technology that I'm talking about is called the Leading Edge Asynchronous Propeller Technology. It sounds pretty advanced. Rob, why don't you play that question and tell us why we're talking about this stuff? All right, I'm going to play that question now. Hey, guys, it's James from California here. First off, I'd like to say that you guys are doing an outstanding job. Uh, listen in, watch your videos, and I learn a lot, and I'm a better pilot because of it. My question for you is my company uses drones for aerial investigations. One problem we're running into is that the Phantom Series drones we're using are just too loud. We go on the countryside, rural areas, and the drones are really, really loud. Now, I was wondering if you guys know of any drones that are quiet and would still maintain a 4K video quality. For me, the only way is to either go and buy a drone, throw it up in the air, see how it sounds, test it. If it doesn't work, got to return it. Or YouTube, watch videos. But you can't really determine the sound of something by watching the video. You got to be there in person. So, what drones? would be good for aerial surveillance and investigative work. Let me know. Thanks, guys. All right. James, oh. thanks for the question. Getting ready to fall aerial asleep, investigations, right? Paul. It's that actually could be a lot of different things. Um, I hope. Okay, I'm going to say something really quick. Oh, uh, boy. As far as flying quiet, you'd be surprised what the Mavic can do. But the only thing is, is that you're very limited um, in uh, the weather conditions that you can fly and the days that you can fly, but also in how much you can record. And the type of camera that you can deploy. Exactly. That kind of thing. I would say for aerial investigations, I think the best drone is going to be one with zoom camera. Mm -hmm. And whenever I fly the Inspire, it seems to be a little bit more quiet than the Phantom, at least the new Phantoms. Um, so I think if you had an old Inspire one with the Z3, you can still shoot 4k and then zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So you don't even have to fly as close because what we found at drone you is that if you're about 150 feet up, people can't really hear you. Yeah. Which isn't that high really. No, but with the zoom camera, that's like if you're six feet off the ground. Exactly. So that would work just fine. Yeah. 150, 200 feet, use the zoom. And then you're going to have more flexibility, like you said, and when you can fly and the conditions you can fly in, those kinds of things. Yeah, if he wants to go pro investigator, you know, he could get an M600, a Matrice 600, which is going to be louder, but he can get a Z30 camera with 300 millimeters of zoom and no one would ever hear him. <laughs> they won't even see it. <laughs> they wouldn't even see the dang thing. <laughs> so, so, okay, so... The cost of those two options on um, the Inspire One, you could be doing that at what four or five grand at this point at the most. I think like thirty five hundred. Yeah. So, but by the time you throw batteries and all that stuff in there, you might be at yeah, four five grand, grand, five grand to, yeah. to have a good outfit there. But then on the six hundred that you just mentioned, now you're talking twenty grand. Thirty grand. Yeah, it's a lot of money. The Z thirty by itself is like ten grand. Yeah. So then you're talking about the bird, the setup. You're looking 15, 20 grand for sure, minimum. All right. So, so you need to have quite an operation going for that. I'm really, really curious about what types of investigations we're talking about here. Like, are they looking for marijuana? 
or are they I don't following... think the feds look for that anymore, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> or are they looking for cheating wives or cheating well, see, husbands? That's or actually really for? that's really interesting because one of the pushbacks on Project Gridlock that we were working on is that they don't want to have privatized persistent surveillance security because they're worried that people like private investigators would want access to this information mm -hmm. to spy on people to find out if they're cheating on their wives. Which, if you cheat on your wife, it, it's going to ruin your relationship over time. It's just a matter of when. So right. That being said, you don't really need a private investigator. Uh, that being said, um, let me let me get to, down to the bottom of this investigation. You're screwed. <laughs> um, yeah, but the sooner the better. It's true. Get, I mean, get that out there yeah. and move on or figure yeah, it out or something. Anyways, yeah, okay. But anyway. Um, <laughs> the places this podcast goes sometimes, I know, Paul. I know. But um, uh, even anyways. people wanted persistent surveillance systems to do uh, like animal tracking and animal yeah. welfare and whatnot. Of course, you wouldn't care about sound as much for something like that, right? No, no. I'm just saying that the point in going over this is that people have – been investigating lots of things. They tried to create a persistent surveillance system using drones and society as a whole has been like, no, right? because people like the actors we just discussed would want access to that material and would really negate the purpose of the material to begin with. Yeah. Um, also the security of the material. So, sure. you know, you ask yourself the question, can I make the drone quieter? You could make the drone quieter if you utilize this technology by NASA, which you probably wouldn't be able to utilize. So you can pick that up at your local Best Buy. <laughs> but it actually could showcase the future of airplanes as a whole. Um, NASA created this plane called the GL-10, and it boasts this new technology called the Leading Edge Asynchronous Propeller Technology. Which essentially what it does is it makes each motor run at a different RPM. Hmm. This way, we have a whole bunch of smaller harmonics that can spread them out across the frequencies. And we can call this frequency spectrum spreading. And it's the only possible because we have so many propellers and very precise digital control of them. Intense. So if you were to get a hexacopter change the speed of all the blades, mm -hmm. maybe change the pitch of the blades too. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if you have a less aggressive pitch that you would get a quieter drone, but then you have less lift and the drone has to work more and then you have less battery life. So there are unintended consequences of having quieter propellers. But in planes, like the one uh, that I see pictured here, this is a NASA graphic. Um, it looks like a Cessna 182 with 20 little drone motors on it. That's a, is that a man? Th yes. A that looks manned. It is. Interesting. So, but, but one of the things this leads to is that a fixed wing option might be, I mean, in terms of quiet, that's probably definitely going to be the best bet. What? Something fixed wing. Some Yes, absolutely. Right? Yeah, if he had a Bixler, for example, um, uh, what is that, the old 3DR Bixler, put a flight controller in there and then have some sort of gimbal with a zoom camera. Oh yeah, that's a game changer. Yeah, and obviously that's gonna be very quiet. Or if you have a lot of money, you can just <clears throat> go to uh, Textron Systems and pick up the Hummingbird, which is about this big. It's gonna run you about $60,000. But hey, guess what? No one's gonna hear it and you can fly it from miles away. <laughs> 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 or right by their ear, apparently. <laughs> you would be surprised. A lot of people um, in testing thought that, that it was a bird. Is that right? Yes. Interesting. So Interesting. Aerial investigations were just touching the tip of the iceberg. But the reality is that the vast majority of the drones that are out there, sort of the consumer drones, it doesn't matter how many you go test, he was alluding to buying them, testing them. They are spinning rotors. There's motors involved. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some relatively significant sound. Yeah, and the way that we can you know, limit the sound is by flying higher, but then we get a worse picture. So he still wants 4K. That's why I would mention the Z3 camera, the Inspire 1, because you can fly at a point where no one's going to hear you and you can zoom in and get the data you need. Right. So, yeah, that sounds like a reasonable solution. That's kind of like what Google does. I would just say, um, let us know what you're investigating. I'm curious. Well, we could have just helped someone really bad. Uh, exactly. <laughs> That didn't hit your mind before we answered this question, did it? <laughs> no, no, it totally did. Of course it did. No, I don't think we did that. It didn't sound like that kind of a guy. Either way, I mean, people should know 
how they're going to do this anyway if you want to predict against it. So information is all about how you use it. Absolutely. Right? You can be knowledgeable. You can know that you've got terrible productivity habits, but until you change the habits, <laughs> nothing's going to change. This is true. This is true. You can, like, yeah. Some people read and read and read and go to seminars and seminars and seminars. But they never do. Never do anything. In fact, the vast majority of people go that route. That's because they just want to feel good, Rob. That's because the vast well, majority of people just want to feel good. About feeling good doing. feels good. So anyway. I understand that. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for us today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that show. I enjoyed that show. It was something different than what we normally talk Very about. Very different. So yeah, I like interesting that. interesting subject. Very cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an awesome Awesome, awesome day. Go out and fly. Enjoy it for us. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Dronio.